George Roby, the theatre's Prime Minister of Mirth, is guest of honour at a literary luncheon. Celebrities from all walks of life attend to do him honour on his birthday. Miss Violet Lorraine stands up to smile at him, and C.B. Cochrane seconds the demonstration, backed by Miss Marie Law. Of course, Mrs. Roby is there, and sketching impressions of the famous eyebrows are Strube and Tom Webster, the cartoonists. Voicing the good wishes of the party is Mr. Morrison. We are glad that he has reached the hearty age of 80, and we look forward to coming again when he is 100. They say that the life of a music hall comic is one that the highbrow despises. Yet even my critics admit my career is unique in its several guises. For just like the leopard who's known by its spots and the toothache is known by its pain, yours truly is known by his subtle bon mots, his eyebrows, his hat and his cane. I haven't a title, yet I possess many. That may sound a bold accusation. But when I refer to titles of song, you'll see that I speak with conviction. Uh, of course, at times I've been misconstrued. That fact worried me quite a lot, for when people say, does he mean something rude? I say, 